Hey guys, so part cuatro of our Ed Puzzle tutorials and our final part. The last thing left is to showcase the grade book feature, which is my favorite feature. Once you have assigned uh, your kids the class codes and you keep uh, dumping in there into their classes those videos they're going to keep completing them watching them and completed and completing them and the way you find out if they have or have not is you go to your grade book on the top right corner here on your grade book you can have multiple classes but because I just created this account I only have one class and so uh, but if you did have several this is where you would navigate through them and two kids have already watched the video and completed it and it's been graded, which is my favorite feature of it. Uh, so Beatriz Gonzalez got a 75 on it and uh, Sarah Solis got a 100. So here I would have all my other videos that I would assign to them and this would be their individual score. This would be their average of all the videos. And I can... Uh, then after that, I can export the gradebook and you can uh, onto Excel and you can sort and filter it how you wish. And so that's my best, uh, at least my favorite feature about Edpuzzle because it really facilitates the grading process. Um, so I hope that you guys liked it. And if you do have any questions, you guys can always find me on Twitter on uh, Mrs. Talk Techie. In addition, if you do decide, and I hope you do, to uh, create an account, I would greatly appreciate it if you would use my referral code so that I can get more space. This is my referral code, E-Z-C-Y-C-M. Uh, thank you so much, guys. And once you create your own and you wanna get more space, you just go to your profile, you click on Invite Teachers, and you have your own referral code there. So um, thank you guys. Feel free to reach out if you need anything. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good rest of your spring break. See you guys.